How you guys doing? This is Tino from LAPC Networking and today I'm going to give you a tutorial how to replace the screen on a Lenovo Yoga 2. If I don't know if you can see that this computer is actually broken. The screen is broken from this area. So obviously it doesn't have image and all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the screen and I'm going to put a new one. So to do this, we're going to need a couple tools. Really basic tools. So you're gonna need a little, uh, little spatula, uh, a knife, tweezers, and your regular Phillips driver. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, let me get in here. So right away, the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna remove these little square pieces. I don't know if you can see these ones. Behind this is uh, a couple screws. There's one here and one on the other side. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna put it on the side right here on the computer. So after you do that, you're gonna remove the two screws. So I'm gonna move this one, put it on the side. Second screw. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna push it all the way down. And then you're gonna you're gonna use a flat little spatula to create a little pressure right here on the corner. Be gentle. You're gonna hear a little crack. Once you do that little crack, you already separate this area. So you're gonna start lifting. And if you see it's just this little plastic all the way. I'm gonna start lifting. You can open it, move it, move it up with your fingers just nicely. Don't worry about the button, it's not attached, it doesn't have any cables. Now, in case if it doesn't do it all the way, help with a little spatula. Uh, sorry, that was my tweezers. Help it with the little spatula over here. And then if you see, this is completely removed and it has little teeth right here. Can you see it? One, two, in this corner. So once you do that, you're gonna remove um, these two screws on the side. That's one. Then two. And then, when you do that, you're gonna remove these other two. On each side. with the little metal frame. Okay. So just hold your screen on place because when that you remove the last one is gonna fail. It's gonna follow me. So if you see, I already separated from here. Now, okay, so now, I can tell you be careful, because once that you remove these last screws, they go down. So now what we're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to push up a little bit, because they have a clip, they have clips, the screen. It has clips, clips to release. And then once that we push up, will be available to release it here you go and here you go now 
I'm gonna go on the back and remove the actual LCD connector, LBS connector, that is this one here. You leave this little blue plastic and then you're gonna pull it slowly. And then we're gonna remove this cable that is goes all the way here, goes connected here, and this other cable here for the new screen, okay? So we're gonna pull it out slowly. Just be careful, try to not pinch the cable or anything like that. And stop right here, because right here it has um, little cables connected, so it has these two screws holding that piece. I'm gonna remove one, and then you're gonna remove the other one. And then you're gonna have two other screws in this area, removing the whole frame. Now you're gonna do the same thing with your creases on the other side. You're gonna remove the cable, move it to the side like this, out of the clips. Here we go. And then you can lift this piece. This thing it has a clip so kind of like pull it this way. Really, really careful over here to not rip the cables, okay? And now, here, we're gonna go pretty slow because it has, it's attached with double side tape. Okay, let me see. Oh, wow. Go like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right here, you're gonna lift this brown clips up so that you can disconnect the actual screen and then you can put the cable to the side and the other one too and your screen is completely removed here all right so and then we're gonna get the brand new piece if you see already like this one already has the magnets and everything and the connector here so first we're gonna start attaching this connector once we get in this area this area is gonna be to put the this thing, the the this little board. It has two little holes in this area next to the screws. So just make sure that you align it with those little holes, and then you can put the screws. One screw, the other screw, and then you're gonna release this tape. Then you're gonna put the camera, continue attaching the cable. Here, here. Remember that the camera I told you has a little end clip, so you're gonna kinda like lift it this way, insert it, and then you're gonna put it down. Okay, now we're gonna leave it a little lifted so like that we can connect the other side.
when do we get it here you can either remove the original or you can put the one that uh you can use the original or you can use this one that is here so in this case i'm gonna disconnect this one i'm gonna put the original back all right so you're gonna see the little white lines right here that they disappear once that you align it okay so and then we're just gonna close this we're gonna push it down you can use the existing tape from the other piece to attach this board so that's the case that's what i'm gonna do Use the existing tape and put it here. And then I'm gonna put it down. And then I put this board. And then we're going to use the other two screws to attach this area. That's one holding the camera frame and the other one in this corner. Once you have all that secure, just make sure that it's not pinching the cable or anything. Make sure that they are completely nice and flat in all the areas. And then we're going to connect the actual LBS connector or the screen connector. LBS. So make sure that you're careful here and push it all the way in. One that is all the way in, you, we're going to push the tape down. And then you're going to lift it slowly. You're going to go behind. You're going to move the back if you see i don't know if you can still see the back is open here so we're gonna have to align it first and then push it down and then you're gonna move it up okay once that you do that you're gonna Align it again and pick put the actual big screw first. The wider one. Trying to do just to do this with one hand. Let's see, let's see. Here you go. And then just don't let it go, okay? Hold it and then get the white screw or silver, whatever color do you think that is, this is the longest one. And then you can let go that side. And then you're gonna go on the other side and put the silver one first because it's longer. And then you attach this bigger one Once that you attach the bigger one, we're gonna attach the two little ones from this frame and then the other two on the other side. You're gonna align the cables behind the little teeth right here. Once you do that, if you want, you can turn it on to verify that it works. So 
So if you see, we have image right there. And then it's turning on. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the other piece. Now we have the image right there. We're gonna put this piece, and this one, like I told you, just clips inside. Let me remove this. So this one, you're gonna put it kind of like face like this, okay? And clip it. Now be careful on this part because the screen is super thin. So if you push it too much, you can crack the screen, okay? I'm gonna put just one screw first on this side. Just to see this holding in place. And then on the other side, once that everything is locked in place, Attach the last piece. Let me see if it works. And then we can get these little black pieces, put it in place. This one over here. So if you see, everything is working. I hope you like this video. Please comment and subscribe. And if you want to do any requests, please let me know. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy.